a break on me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> There we go. Awesome. <laughs> so, with the handbrake on, this is about a ton. And we got some rubber and some concrete and he's trying to slide one over the other. There's no way that's going to work. Maybe if we put some seaweed under the wheels. Well, like that, the friction is just too much. The minute we take the handbrake off, of course, we no longer have sliding friction. We have rolling friction. Because we have rolling friction, we've just got a point contact and it's actually relatively easy to move, even though it weighs the same. Okay, that didn't escape people, of course, and for thousands of years, we used these things, rollers. The Egyptians used these to build their pyramids. It was probably a couple of thousand years after that that somebody came up with this, and if you think about it, it's actually nothing more than a roller packed with duck grease to make sure it doesn't stick too much. Now, it took another few thousand years before somebody thought of these things because a roller packed with duck grease well that's fine as long as you're not going more than a walking pace go a little bit faster you need something else so of course when they strapped an engine to a cart and people were going much much faster these became really really important it became important because even on a roller, you've got a line of contact. Of course, on a ball, you've got a point of contact. Now, I'm of the opinion that this sort of thing, bearings, cranks, gears, levers, frames, they're the unsung heroes of mechanics because we always sort of go to the heart of the machine, the bit that's essential to it, and skip or gloss over those bits, but the functioning of any device is intimately tied to those elements of its construction. Now, when it comes to this sort of stuff, and this is just a pre-bought skater boring bearing that you can buy by the bucket load, we can either buy them, or if you look on Thingiverse, you'll see lots of files where you can 3D print them, and that's about it, really. When it looks at the 3D printing side of this thing, well, if you 3D print them in their entirety, as an exercise, it's kind of fun to do, and to do print in place, it's kind of awesome, but they're a bit ropey. They do tend to stick, and they're a skip a little bit, they're a bit tight or a bit loose, and they don't work very well, so I almost universally turn to these. But... This isn't the end of the story. You can actually make these all by yourself. And there are various benefits to be had from making them all by yourself. So I prepared this in Tinkercad and I put it on Thingiverse because there are only four parts to a bearing. There's the outer race, the inner race, the cage and the balls itself. Now you'll notice they're glass. You can use steel, but I've chosen glass because you're using glass and plastic. And what that means is this bearing will be rust proof, making it ideal for any outdoor application like a wind turbine or a water wheel, which is exactly why I'm doing this. If we put the inner race inside the outer race and take our six ball bearings, we can pop those in there quite easily actually. Just move the inner race around until you put six ball bearings in there. If done, you'll find you have that, where the six balls are nestled nicely in the indentation between the inner and the outer race. Now we need to put the cage on. So you pop the cage in place and jiggle those balls around until they drop into the six indentations on the cage. Then when you've done that, you put a spot, and I mean a spot, of superglue on these indentations here. Swap it round, press it in and give it a press so that it glues together. When the glue's gone off, that's what you get. One waterproof glass bearing. You can in fact buy glass bearings if you want. You'll find them a little expensive, but you can buy them, but that's how to go around making them. Of course, if you want steel, replace it with stainless steel and you're still gonna have a pretty good bearing. Certainly a better bearing than you can 3D print. Probably not as good as this bearing, but a lot of fun to be able to make. So I paid £10 for a hundred of these, and if you look at the price of glass bearings, you'll find I could make about 40 for the same price you have to buy four. You could also use ceramic, like I say, if ceramic's a little more expensive, but you just get it on eBay or Amazon, you could make up exactly the same thing. Now there is one thing to notice on the cage. One of these indentations is smaller than the other indentations. That's just the quirk of the drawing package. You line up the two small indentations before you glue it on, and you'll have yourself 
the glass bearing. Like I say, these things are rust free, so they're weatherproof, they're waterproof, they're sold commercially, and they're going to last you ages and give you a machine that will never rust. Ideal for wind turbines. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching, and please do remember to like and subscribe. Cheers.